Last year, Ohio State had the Big Ten Player of the Year in Kata Bates Diop and the Big Ten Coach of the Year in Chris Holtman. One of them has returned this year. Let's listen in. Coach, if you'd like to begin with an opening statement, and then we'll open the floor for questions. Sure. Thank you, Sopvik. Excited to be here. Uh, it's a fun time of year. Uh, a lot of anticipation. Um, so we are uh, super excited about uh, being here. Thank you all for coming and covering this event. Um, I really do feel like our league is poised uh, for a very good year. Um, I think when you look at the returning players uh, and when you look at the recruiting classes and the quality of coaching, I think our league is, is uh, deep and, and poised for a really good year. Um, as far as we're concerned, I think we've, we've got some uh, questions that, that need to be answered. Um, we're in the process of trying to do that. We have a, a relatively new, new team with six new players. Um, we're excited about working with this group. We understand we do, we do have some questions that we have to answer as a group here. So, um, like I said, we're, we're in the midst of trying to do that. Uh, excited about it. We want to get everybody healthy first. We've only had one full day of, of uh, practice with, with every guy due to some, some bangs and bruises. But um, excited about moving forward. We have a very, very challenging schedule ahead of us. Um, and uh, particularly early. Uh, with some road, true road games that I think are really exciting for our fans, but that uh, can be challenging for, for a new group. So um, I'll uh, open it up for questions. Thank you, Coach. Chris, uh, Adam Jardy of the Columbus Dispatch. Um, I just wonder, as you look at this year, is this maybe the most like on the radar year you've had as a coach, given the success you had last year and the attention that two people are obviously going to be paying to you now? Say that again, Adam. On the radar, meaning like from an, an outside perspective, is this maybe the most that you feel that people are watching you and watching what job you're going to be doing this year? Well, I think in the in the nature of our business is you're 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 being evaluated on a pretty much a game to game basis. So um, I don't know that the scrutiny is any greater now, uh, Adam, than what it has been in the past. Uh, I think people are curious about uh, how we're going to transition from uh, four really good seniors and important players, and in particular, uh, Kata Bates Diop and, and Jay Sean Tate. So. I do think people are curious about that and curious about uh, uh, how to uh, implement six new players. Um, so I, I, I'm, I'm anxious to see, as, as our fans are, how we're going to manage that. On our left here. Okay. Martin Soares from Basketball Society. Coach, can you just speak on your freshman, Luther Muhammad, uh, what you like about him, what you think some of his challenges might be breaking into the rotation, what you think he can bring to the team? Absolutely. Luther uh, Muhammad has, has been a really um, important, he was an important recruit for us given our, our lack of guard depth. Um, you know, we, we have loved coaching him. He has a tremendous um, a work ethic capacity for work. Um, he is really competitive. I think he has the ability to impact the game on both ends. He's been really well coached in high school. Um, comes from a terrific program. So uh, he's going to play an important role really from day one for us, and um, we're excited about his development. I think some of his challenges will be like any freshman, understanding uh, some of the things you can and cannot do at this level. Hey, Coach. Jeff hey, Jeff. Speaks .com. Hey, you mentioned some of the recruiting classes. Who are You guys obviously get to see all these guys in recruiting. Who are three, four, or five guys around the league who you think fans really should pay attention to early on, guys who are kind of ready to really make an impact? Freshmen that are ready to make an impact? You know, obviously, I think Romeo Langford is, is one that the, the, uh, one of the very first ones that comes to mind. I think given m many people are aware of his talent and his ability, um, and certainly what he's going to mean uh, for, for Indiana. I think he, um, you know, is a, is a part of a very gifted and talented Indiana team. Um, I think the young man from Michigan um, is, is got a chance to have a real impact. I didn't see him a whole lot, um, but uh, I think he's got a chance to have a real impact from, from day one, from what I understand as well. 
Um, and I think there are many others. I know Minnesota has a terrific, versatile big um, that they've added to their roster that we're excited about. Uh, uh, I'm sure we'll have a tremendous Big Ten career. Does that answer your question, Jeff? Hi, Coach. I'm Tanya Hello. Kelly from On The Move Sports Cows. And my question is, um, coming off a great season, again, you know, it's been well. We've, we've been waiting for it. But um, what plans have you done as a coach as well as a team to get you prepared for this season? Well, we tried to put uh, last year uh, as quickly as possible in the rearview mirror. And um, I think... Uh, you know, you get asked about last year's team because it was a it was a fun team for for people to watch and observe. But we tried to quickly uh, turn the page as, as much as possible. I think our guys understand that uh, uh, many of the the major components of last year's team are gone, and that's exciting for them in new roles. But we tried to move uh, quickly, turn the page, and focus on uh, the development and the growth of this team on a day to day basis. Um, uh, uh, that's, that's probably been the most important thing we've tried to do. Gino Green from College Sports Overload. Uh, obviously, this year, the Big Ten tournament moves back to its traditional week. How is that going to help with that extra week in terms of being able to get you guys acclimated once you get to March? Well, I think the rest will help. And uh, Lord knows um, I can use all the help uh, possible when it comes to Big Ten tournament and uh, um, conference tournaments for that matter, but um, uh, I, I do like the, the week um, uh, the week of, of rest. Um, I do think the schedule as it is now sets up better uh, for a more quality tournament and, and hopefully for postseason play. I don't know that it limited any of us last year, the added rest going into the NCAA tournament, but I certainly like this setup better. Yeah, Coach, uh, Steve Hellwagon, 24-7 Sports. Uh, Keyshawn Woods uh, coming from uh, Wake Forest, probably counting on him to play some pretty good minutes for you. I think he played 26 minutes a game last year at Wake Forest. Just what's your thought uh, after two weeks working every day on this, uh, what you're seeing and getting with him? Yeah, Steve, he's been, uh, he's been good. He's been good for us. He is a, a really, he's a solid player right now. He has a terrific feel um, uh, for the game, which, which means he's going to play a significant amount of uh, point guard for us, uh, as well as off the ball, really all three perimeter spots. But uh, he, he's, been, he's been really solid for us, kind of what we've expected. I think he's uh, waiting a little bit to assert a level of leadership. I think he wants you know, his teammates to continue to observe how he works on a day-to-day -day basis. But uh, as you mentioned, he is critical for this group. Any other questions for Coach? One last question. Anybody? Coach Holtman, thank you so much thank for you. your Have time. Have a great day.